In the news tonight, six Hillfoot residents released after more than 72 hours in custody, only one charge. Um, a charge of threatening behavior. And what is even more ridiculous is that we have only one statement from a police officer. An elderly pedestrian killed in one report accident. One of six residents of Hillfoot, a community of the Linden Suicide Highway, who was detained by the police for more than 72 hours, was this morning charged and released on his own recognizance. The person charged was Rondell Grant. He was charged with disorderly behavior and the complainant is a policeman. At the court this morning, opposition member of parliament, Amanza Walton de Seer, at the Diamond Magistrates Court, said she was concerned at the length of time the six were held. So we have one individual charged with um, a charge of threatening behavior. And what is even more ridiculous is that we have only one statement from a police officer that is the basis of that charge. So I am personally relieved because he has been let go in his own reconnaissance and the residents today are reunited with their families because we were able to get them stationed bail on Sunday. So all in all, I'm happy that they're back with their families, but what we're seeing here is just a completely broken system. They would have kept these residents in custody for in excess of 72 hours. And then when we turned up here this morning, charges were preferred only against one individual. So the police have not yet charged the other um, five persons. We have no word as to whether they will be charging them. And mind you, they were kept in custody beyond the 72 hours permitted. I Another concern raised by the seer is the lone female who was arrested and were held in a cell with a male. And not only that, the female in their midst, she was kept in custody with a male that she does not know. And she was forced to sleep in a cell with an unknown male for two nights. Something is wrong with the system. Something is fundamentally wrong with the system. And I think we have to take stock. We really do have to take stock. It appears as if, you know, it's open season on, on, on poor people. Rondell Grant, who was charged, was represented by a battery of lawyers, opposition member of parliament, Gita Chandon Edmund, Ronald Daniels, Dexter Todd, and Dexter Smart. The attorneys we told will be providing representation to the others should charges be filed against them. The six were arrested following demonstrations last week Thursday over their homes being demolished on Wednesday. You will never decline. Extra lemon and lime. It's the two combined. It's one of a kind. Extra lemon and lime. Extra lemon and lime. Taste the citrus in every sip. Well, Mr. Smart, mm -hmm. election in the air again, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but how often if we can hear stories about dead people and overseas people voting again? Well, Sunil, I can't say if you will hear that, but I know you can't cheat in voting at elections. Mm -hmm. Why you say that? Because if you try to cheat, you will be caught. And when you're caught, you will be prosecuted. And if found guilty, you will go to jail or pay a fine or both. Mm. So how do you gonna catch me if I try to cheat? How? Mm -hmm. GCOM has several measures in place to identify if anyone attempts to cheat. For example, like pretending to be a voter that he or she is not. And those measures include checking the ID cards and the folio with voters' photos and any other information on it 
to verify that they are who they claim to be. So anyone who attempts to vote illegally will be immediately arrested by the police. Hmm. You're right, Mr. Smart. Anyway, thanks for educating me why nobody can vote by cheating. Anytime, Sunil. Anytime, man. Anytime, anytime. For more information, contact the GCOM hotlines on 2256 or 2239650 or visit www.gcom.org.gy. LGE is Monday, June 12th. Team Extra and the One Man Bands presents the, the, the band's birthday. Celebrating 30 years of One Man Band in Guyana. 10 of the best One Man Bands all across Guyana and New York for one night. One stage on Saturday the 24th of June 2023. At the National Park Side Attraction. Granny performs live. Dancing competition. Walls 30,000. Dance hall 30,000. The oldest couple at the party wins $30,000. Early bird 1500 Wow, stocks last. Ticket location. White Castle Fish Shop. Just your size boutique, Orange Wall, Fireside Grill, Highway Cafe, Suzai Junction, and Extra Beer, Stabic Market Location. Compliments of Fireside Grill and Chill, and Extra Beer. The, 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 birthday. the police have launched an investigation into a fatal accident involving a pedestrian and a motor car, which occurred on the Monrepo Public Road last night. Dead is Montas Ali, the 67-year-old man hailed from Monrepo, North East Coast, Damarara. According to the police, their inquiries disclosed that the driver of motor car PMM 9156 was proceeding east along the southern side of the Northern Carriageway at an alleged rate of speed of about 70 km per hour when the driver alleges that he saw a male pushing his bicycle from south to north across the road into the part of his vehicle. On seeing that, he applied brakes and pull north to avoid a collision but despite his effort the right side front of the vehicle collided with the pedestrian which caused the pedestrian to fall onto the road surface where he received injuries about his body Ali was picked up in an unconscious condition and escorted to the Georgian Public Hospital where he was seen and examined by a doctor on duty and pronounced dead on arrival a breathalyzer test was conducted on the 48-year-old driver and read 0.008% BAC micrograms. The vehicle was lodged to be examined by a licensing and certifying officer and a notice of intended prosecution has been served. The voting process. When you go to the polling station to vote on local government elections day, you will follow these steps. Step 1. Check the official list of voters at the polling station to ensure you are listed there to vote. Step 2. Present your ID card to the GCOM official. Your ID card will be verified along with your name, address, ID number and photograph on a folio that will be at the polling station. Step 3. The GCOM official will check your fingers for electoral ink and, if none is found, give you a ballot paper and provide directions for marking and folding it. The GCOM official must stamp the back of your ballot paper at the top half and bottom half with the six-digit number of the polling station. Step 4. Proceed to the voting compartment to mark your ballot and fold it as you were shown. Step 5. Show the folded ballot to the clerk. Dip your finger in the electoral ink and place your ballot paper into the ballot box. Step 6. Peacefully leave the polling station. For more information, contact the GCOM hotlines on 2250-2779-226-6557 or 2239650 or visit www.gcom.org.gy. LGE is Monday, June 12th. I'm Ansha. I'm a manager over here at Brooklyn Institute of Vocational Training. We provide home health tech training here. For that, we have flexible classes, which includes morning, evening, and the weekend class. You can choose any class, whichever is convenient for you. Also, this career is now at the peak. This career pay rate increases from 1909 till up to 2109 now. I speak 
different languages which includes Hindi, Punjabi, Urdu, Bangla and our certificate is recognized all over the New York because we are licensed from Board of Education. Once you graduated from our school, you can work with any agency anywhere in New York. Our address is 110-05 Liberty Avenue, Queens. Guys, I know the name is Brooklyn Institute, but we are located in Queens. I repeat the address, 110-05 Liberty Avenue, Queens. 11419 is our zip code. And my number is 929-386-0092. If you have any questions, you can always call me and I'm, I will be happy to answer all your questions. Oh, don't forget to check our website www.mybrooklyninstitute.com Come join our school and get home health aid certificate as we like to believe changing lives one student at a time. Barbie's man is now in police custody after he was busted with 54.790 kilograms or over 120 pounds of cannabis on Sunday. The drug bust took place in the vicinity of Helena No. 1 Public Road, Maica, East Coast Demar by ranks from the Maica Police Station during an anti-crime patrol. The driver, a female and a toddler were the occupants of the vehicle at the time. According to a statement from the Police Communications Department, the cannabis was found during a stop and search of a canter that the suspect was driving at the time. It was reported that the driver who was driving at a fast rate of speed failed to produce the documents for the vehicle. Instead, he produced a firearm and handed over a license to the police. The vehicle was escorted to the Maica police station where it was observed that the vehicle had hollow blocks, sand and a wheelbarrow in the back of the tray. The search was conducted and under the sand it unearthed two bulky brown salt bags and two bulky transparent parcels suspected to be cannabis. The two brown salt bags and the two transparent parcels were removed in their presence where it was observed one of the brown salt bag containing three transparent parcels and the other brown salt bag containing two transparent parcels, which amounted to seven parcels suspected to be cannabis. They were told of the allegation, cautioned and arrested. The narcotics were weighed in their presence, which amounted to 54.790 kilograms. The firearm was lodged. Further inquiries are in progress. Know your polling station before Elections Day. GCOM is urging all voters to find out the polling stations where they are registered to vote at the upcoming local government elections. GCOM has established an office of the returning officer in every local authority area. You can visit the office of the returning officer to find out at which polling station you are registered to vote. GCOM has also posted the registers of voters and lists of polling stations on its website www.gcom.org.gy Visit the GCOM website and enter your ID number in the cell provided for this purpose to get clear directions about the location of your polling station where you can vote. For more information, contact the GCOM hotlines on 225-02779, 226-6557, 223-9650, or visit www.gcom.org.gy. LGE is Monday, June 12th. Running late and can't wait to the gate? We got you. The Guyana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union Limited has introduced a fast and easier way to make payments to your accounts through the GT&T mobile money services. Here's how. Click on the MMG app. Under Services, select Pay Bills. When you are there, 
look for the financial institution option. Once that is done, select Guyana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union Limited to pay your loan or make payments to your savings. Payments to the credit union made easier. GPS CCU, the credit union you can bank on. Extra presents Creek Slag 2023 live on stage. Trinidad and Tobago. Lady Lava. Now we're on it's Lady Lava, Queen of the Freak. And I will be live on Guyana on the 2nd of July. Aziza, Kusta, Linden Highway, all will come up and represent. Lady Lava. You have a girl will I like him more. You have a girl will I like him more. Granny. Now watch the black stand up this. Don't let me give you some fuck back. Granny. Miss Creepy. Miss Creepy. Miss Creepy. Miss Creepy. On Sunday, July 2nd, at Aziza Cusa Creek. Early bird tickets, 1500 Wow, stocks last. Ticket location, White Castle Fish Shop, Just Your Size Boutique, Orange Walk, Fireside Grill, Highway Cafe, Suzai Junction, and Extra Beer, Stabbing Market location. Supplements of Fireside Grill, and Extra Energy Drink. How to mark the ballot. Voting at local government elections is easy. On the ballot paper, provision is made for you to vote twice. Once on the top half, where you vote for the proportional representation aspect of the elections, and once at the bottom half for the first past the post aspect. Look for the name and symbol of the party of your choice in the top section and mark your X in the blank space provided on the right of the party's symbol. Then you look for the name and symbol of the party of your choice in the bottom section and mark your X in the blank space provided on the right of the symbol of your party or candidate. If the proportional representation aspect is not contested in your local authority area, the top section of the ballot will be blank. If there is no election for the constituency in which you live, the bottom half of the ballot will be blank. For more information, contact the GCOM hotlines on 225-02779, 226-6557, 223-9650, or visit www.gcom.org.gy. LGE is Monday, June 12th. Washi. Hi, people. Washing made so easy since I found Washi. Washi me use wash me clothes and I can say Wash your soap powder, wash clothes so nice Wash your soap powder, leave your clothes color bright Wash your soap powder, leave me clothes smelling nice, of course So give thanks for wash your soap powder For doing my laundry right Keep my clothes color bright Have me clothes smelling nice for sure I could not ask for more Comes in lemon and original it is a washing machine in a pack. Wash your soap powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash your soap powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash your soap powder, have my clothes smelling nice, of course. Distributors located in the Starbrook market. A family of six was left homeless when their Graham Street Pleasant's home went up in flames Sunday morning. Reports are that the family, which occupied the two-storied wooden house, was at home when they were alerted to a fire on the top flat. They all managed to escape the blaze on earth but lost their belongings. When firefighters arrived on the scene, the entire building was in flames. They however managed to extinguish the fire and prevent it from spreading to any of the nearby buildings. The Guyana Fire Service is however conducting an investigation to ascertain what may have caused the fire. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website www.rdproductiongy.com.